guys, welcome back to Dark Matter. So I have a confession to make. I'm a bit of an Android fanboy stuck inside of an Apple user's body. I didn't actually start using iPhone until about 2016 when the iPhone 10 came out. But before that, I was using like Google Pixel phones, Sony Xperia phones. All that being said, I've been seeing a lot of stuff about the Motorola Razr Plus recently. And I've never actually used a Motorola phone myself, but I've known a lot of people that have used them and been really happy with them. Some people swear by them. So I wanted to get the Motorola Razr Plus for myself and just unbox it and kind of check it out. I'm not sure that I'm going to review it necessarily necessarily we'll see how it goes but I just at least wanted to get my hands on it and kind of give you guys an unboxing and a look into that so without any further ado let's get into this thing let's see what it's about and uh yeah so kind of unlike my airpods I do have to use a knife to get into this one so or a razor I should say pretty clean box overall all black white stickers let's open it up so there's the phone itself wrapped in a, a black paper that's cool the motorola logo is kind of embossed on the side razor plus embossed as well in that paper just a warning not to remove the attached internal screen protector i guess you know kind of like with the samsung flip phones it's not meant to remove that screen protector that's part of the screen's integrity we'll set that to the side let's see what's in the box so i don't like this samsung does this too they put all your cables and stuff inside of another box i think the iphones is way cleaner and uses way less packaging materials but i don't know i don't i don't like the extra box so standard usb-c to usb-c cable instruction booklet all the legal sh so this is the at&t version of the phone so it's got an at&t quick start guide in there more waste of packaging if you ask me and then you've got your sim key so there you have it all the stuff that comes in the box let's put all this stuff to the side and let's go ahead and turn on the phone and see what we got so moment of truth let's unwrap this bad boy it says open there wow that that is clean just the look of it is so clean this got a soft touch on the base here that is really nice i like that a lot shiny size of course i really like the look of this i like the two-tone design let's go ahead and turn it on and let's see what it's about got the motorola logo of course Wow, cool animation. Let me go ahead and do a quick setup on it. Get in there and so we can check out that second screen real quick. Two hours later. Okay, so we're in. Go ahead and take a look at this second screen that we got on the outside of the phone. That's pretty sick. I, I just wanna, I wanna say real quick. People have been going crazy over this phone since it was kind of announced. I know reviewers like MKBHD and a few other ones are talking about how cool this thing is with the outside screen. I just want to say it's cool, you know, it's a neat trick, but I'm hesitant and maybe I would need to do a full review of this, but I'm hesitant to think that there would be any much more crazy functionality to this than it would be with you know the flip three or whatever because i don't i don't see a bunch of people walking around like using this outside screen to me it's just unnecessarily making the device more expensive you know because most people with clamshell devices they're gonna want to open it up and use you know the full screen of the phone i think that's gonna be the use case i think the second screen is good as like uh you know to check the time to check the notifications things like that I just don't see a lot of people like just walking around on their phones like this. If you're getting this phone, it's because it's meant to be closed when you don't need it and open when you need, you know, the full functionality of a smartphone. I don't see like people just walking around using this outside screen. And maybe I'm a little skeptical of that, but 
it's cool. It looks cool. It's clean. I love the design. Like it's super slick, but I don't, I don't see, I mean, maybe you, you need to do a quick calculation. Maybe open up the calculator. You need to take a quick selfie. Maybe you could, you could take a selfie with the the main lenses, but that's the only good I see of this. Aside from that, it's adding like extra complexity, like I said, extra cost for an outside screen that I don't think people really need. And you know, they kind of know that too because they've released the cheaper version of this without the bigger screen on the outside. So they kind of realize that it's a bit of a, a luxury thing um, and they're pushing that, I guess. But I'm definitely skeptical about it. I'm definitely don't see it catching on for that reason. I don't see it catching on for that reason. I don't see it kind of, you know, boosting Motorola's brand any more than it already is. I really think it's just like a kind of a niche product, kind of like Motorola's phones have been, you know, up to this point. I don't see it being revolutionary for their brand in any way. I think as far as like foldables go, People are still going to be flocking to Samsung for those for the time being. And you'll get the few edge cases that get this phone. Maybe the Motorola loyalists. I don't know. I am excited to check out the Pixel Fold. You're probably like laughing at me right now because you think, well, that one's not much different than the Samsung Fold. But, you know, I've always been a big Pixel fan. I think that they tend to do things right. Kind of like how Apple, you know, just does things right or does things better. I tend to think that about Pixel too, so I'm hoping that I can get my hands on a Pixel Fold soon. Until then, Razer Plus, let me know if you want me to do a review on this thing or not. I'm not super excited about it. It's just another folding Android phone um, with the outside screen. The design is cool, but thanks for tuning in to Dark Matter. Give me a like if you like this video, leave some feedback in the comments, and subscribe to follow along for more. We'll see you guys in the next one.